these and how does this bit of cloth relate to the toilet paper crisis? Coming up next. You want me to wipe my bum with that? Gross. Ew. That's disgusting. Oh, I'd rather vomit. All of these things. This, these are the comments that I've had so many times in the past when I tell people that we use cloth toilet paper or what some people refer to as family cloth. Don't freak out. I'm explaining exactly how it works. And I think this is a really important message to talk about right now because Melbourne particularly has this toilet paper crisis. Probably because of coronavirus, people are buying too much toilet paper. Our supermarkets are empty. We pretty much have no stock left and toilet paper is one of those things that is running low. I've had friends of mine tell me that they've had to go to all the way to the city just to buy toilet paper. It's crazy. And what I'm gonna be talking about is why myself and my family don't need to worry about buying toilet paper because we don't use it. Yes, I will repeat that. We do not use traditional toilet paper. We use this. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know it's exactly what you're thinking, but it's not all that gross and it's not all that disgusting and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them without it being gross and without you having to touch anything. I suppose there are a few reasons why our family particularly use cloth toilet paper. Firstly, we've got three children, five and under, and we have been using cloth nappies for that whole time. Because of that, we've also been using cloth wipes for our children, and we just thought it was a really easy switch to make from normal toilet paper to cloth toilet paper, because we were already wiping our baby's bums with cloth wipes. I think a cloth wipe for a baby's butt is just as good for my butt, so why not? People always ask us, how do we do it? Is it difficult? Is it disgusting? How dirty do you guys have to get? Is it a lot of effort involved? And definitely no. There's definitely not a lot of effort involved. It's actually really super simple and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that now. So there are a few things to note here. We obviously have our toilet, which is like normal toilet. And we also have this thing here. This is actually a toilet sprayer. We don't use that for ourselves. This is not a bidet. I've posted this on Facebook posts before and everyone always asks me, is this a bidet? This is not a bidet. This is to spray poo off nappies to go into the toilet so that we can flush it. This is not for our use and this is not all we're talking about today. But if you want to hear about cloth nappies, please let me know, comments down below and I will totally do a cloth nappy video in the future. So what we use is this, these cloth wipes here, these are just from Baby Bunting or Target, just cheap cloth wipes, they can be made out of anything, they just look like this. We've had these wipes for several years and you can see that even though they're not white and they're maybe a little grey, there is no staining on this and we use these a lot. So you can imagine that people would say, ew it's going to have stains, it's going to be disgusting, I promise you, it's not disgusting. It washes beautifully. They come out white, and I'm gonna show you how to do that next. Okay, so the process is super simple. I will demonstrate, obviously I'm gonna leave my pants on because, you know, pants and the internet. Pretty much, you sit on the toilet, you do whatever you need to do. Reach around, get your wipe, do whatever you need to do. And then we have this thing here called a wet bag. This bag, you just put your dirty things in. So you just unzip it, get it, put it in there, zip it back up. I'll show you up close so you can see. So this is just a bag that is lined with a material that is waterproof called PUL. And it just means that it doesn't leak through. Um, no water comes out the bottom if there are any wet stuff in there. Um, you can use it as like a swimming bag or something. We just, we use it for nappies and cloth wipes. And you can just put your stuff in there. So it's just like that. You just put your, use your cloth wipe, do whatever you need to do, put it in there and zip it up. And you just leave it hanging on the door. Like that. All right, so as we walk through my dirty house, I'm gonna show you my laundry and we're going to learn how to wash the cloth wipes. And I promise you, it's not as scary. Oh my God, look at that, it's so dirty. Oh, okay. 
I know how to do cloth wipes, but I'm not like the world's greatest housewife, okay. All right, so the next step is how to wash it. It's actually super easy, and I think this is the part where people think that it's gonna be the most disgusting. This is literally the easiest thing I've ever done. We put our cloth wipes in with our nappies when we wash them, but you can just do them on their own or put them in with your towels. I mean, you dry your bum with your towel and you reuse it, so why not this? Personal opinion, I know it's controversial. Okay, so this is how to do it, ready? Get your bag of dirty wipes. This is another cute little wet bag. How cute is this pattern? That's the other, this is the other thing with cloth wipes. You get to have cute cloth wipe patterns, cute wet bags. It's an addiction. Send help, please. So this is the same as the other bag. This is lined with a waterproof material, so it's not going to leak, um, and it's going to be really durable. So this one have my cloth wipes inside. I'm just going to scrunch it down. Scrunch it down like this. I'm still not touching anything, I've got my wipes inside. Now I'm just going to get my hand underneath and push, and push all the wipes in. And then you've sort of got like a glove on the inside. This will not be dirty. When you use a cloth wipe, unless you have like explosive diarrhea or something, this will not be dirty, it will be clean and dry. Well not clean, but it will be fine. So you can use this sort of as like a little glove. You can move things around if it's not in properly or you need to readjust. And then when you have this on your hand, the inside of my arm is clean because this is on the inside, this is the clean side touching my hand. Then when you're done getting all your wipes in, chuck it. I have not got anything on my hands, my hands are completely dry, and then that is it. Right. So the way that we wash the cloth wipes is pretty much the same as I would wash my cloth nappies. You're going to turn it on and you're going to want to put it on a high speed and a high temperature wash because you want to get rid of all the germs and the bacteria. I follow the clean cloth nappies down under routine which is a Facebook page you can totally join, it's free. Um, and all you have to do is follow the routine that they give you. We usually do a like a rinse and spin first for our nappies and then we just do like a heavy wash. That's why I recommend to do this not on its own. Do it with some towels or some other dirty laundry that you don't mind it touching. Totally personal preference. We just put, wash them with our nappies because we are already washing nappies. But you could just do this as a cycle on its own as well. But you can change your temperature. Um, we usually use um, 60 degrees at, or above. We do have 95 degrees, um, which I do every now and then, just to make sure all the bacteria has been completely removed. We also put them on the clothesline to dry. Um, the sun helps get rid of bacteria, as well as removing stains. All right guys, that is it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Please, if it was helpful at all, do all those things that you're meant to do with the YouTube channel, I don't know. See you in the next one, bye. Oh Did that sound weird? Oh, I can't see.